Hi and welcome to my quantity discount video where I'll show you how to use Excel to figure out a quantity discount problem. Alright, so here's our Excel problem. Uh, we're given the demand, the cost to order, the cost to hold, and we're given a, a discount table. Basically our discount, the first discount is one from, 100, from 1 to 119. We have a cost of 100 and it goes up from there. Um, you could see them. All right. So quantity discounts are a three-step problem. First, we fi figure out um, our economic order quantity or our Q. Um, all I did is put in the basic economic order quantity um, uh, uh, equation right here, your 2D C sub O divided by your C sub H. All right. The only thing is make sure you use the cost per unit from the um, appropriate discount column. All right, so the next thing that we figure figure out is do we need to adjust um, this? And since actually it's over, but if we look to see if it's in this range. Uh, since this one is greater than the range, what it's really telling you is don't even waste your time figuring it out because you wouldn't order here anyway, but just for going through the formulas, we'll use it. All right, so our next step is we find out our three costs so we can add them together and get total cost. Our first one is ordering cost, which is N divided by our C sub O, and of course N is D divided by Q. The one thing is make sure to use the adjusted Q here, because um, if we have to adjust the Q, the number will change. Um, the same holds true for ordering costs. Q average, uh, divided by C sub H, but again, my Q average is uh, my adjusted Q as the Q average. And then my final cost is uh, demand cost, which is simply uh, my per unit um, times uh, how much demand I have. Um, one thing I will show you here is you notice I used um, absolute cell references like B13 is an absolute cell reference. Here's a neat little shortcut. If, um, if I do B13 like this, and then I do the function key F4, it automatically puts in the cell references for me. All right, and then finally total cost, I just used the sum formula, uh, added my three uh, together. The nice thing about using absolute cell references here is now if I select all my formulas, I just drag and drop them down. If I had 100 uh, discounts, I could calculate 100 at once. The only thing I have to do is go through the uh, Q adjust and see if I have to adjust it. So the first two are no, like 275 falls in this range. But my third one, 279 doesn't fall in this range, so I have to adjust it. So I'm going to adjust that up to 1500, which is the minimum. And you see that affects um, my cost. Uh, whereas the first two are at the equilibrium point, by adjusting my Q, I've distorted it towards holding cost. I'll order less, I'll hold more. Um, so that's an additional cost there. But what it did is it lowered my uh, demand cost. Uh, so we're hoping the demand cost offset the increase in the holding cost. And if I look at my three, I can see that it does. My most efficient or least costly point is uh, my discount two, although I'll only be ordering like twice a year. So um, I hope that helps. And let me know if you have any questions.